Okay, here they are, our race winners and new champions. Number 83 AF Corsa Ferrari trio of Alessio Rivera, Francois Pareto and Nicholas Nielsen. Congratulations. Guys, fantastic achievement. Fourth win of the season for the trio and, and Nicholas maintains his 100% GTE AM championship win with back-to-back -back wins with, with Francois. And of course, Alessio wins on his rookie season. So we got lots to celebrate uh, subsequently once we get these questions out of the way. But I'm going to speak with Francois first of all, an absolutely superb campaign. I mean, last season was great, but even better this season. And maintaining that level of performance isn't easy, so you must be very satisfied. No, really thrilled. Uh, last year, obviously, like you said, was an amazing season to clinch the title. But um, to be honest, we, we had a little bit of luck in the last race, and we finished P3 in Le Mans. This season with Nicolas again and Alessio, who's a fantastic driver, uh, we won Le Mans, won four out of six races and, and won the title. So I think we, we wanted to confirm that we had the potential to, to really be the best and you know, we, we proved it. And I'm, I, mean, I couldn't be prouder than, than today with uh, Nicolas, Alessio, the whole team, the engineers, Amato, you know, who, uh, who trusted me. So you know, it's, it's fantastic, really over the moon. Well deserved, well done Francois. Thank Let's you. move over to Alessio. As I said, your debut season after being Italian GT champion in 2020. I mean, what a, what a performance all, all season from you, and especially today. Um, it wasn't easy out there. The Porsches looked really quick at the end, but you were able to achieve this, this fourth victory and become champion. You must be highly delighted. Yeah, I'm really happy because it's my first title out of Italy. And to win a world, world championship in the debut season is something uh, unbelievable. I'm extremely happy, and uh, I'm extremely happy to have uh, these guys uh, with me in the car. Uh, the team was uh, special for all the season. The car was always fast. Uh, so, yeah, I'm extremely happy. Uh, what can I say? We won. <laughs> you did indeed. Congratulations, Alessio. Thank definitely um, a, a, name to, uh, a name for the, se uh, for the future. Great performance from you. Everyone's been very impressed. And, Nicholas, um, we were talking about you in those tones last season. You came into your second season and you stepped up to the plate again and have tasted some great success, a double champion in only your second season in WEC, which is an achievement in itself. Actually, Ferrari's 20th win in the AM category today to go one ahead of Porsche. So an important day all round uh, on all fronts. But just from your perspective, let's, let's talk about today's race because, again, every win is different. But tell us your stint to the wheel today, which obviously gave a great foundation for the victory. Yeah, I mean... Um it was a great race, obviously, and um, yeah, I mean, I took the, uh, the the car in a leading position and I basically had to bring the car home. And uh, um, like Alessio and Francois said, the car has been amazing the whole season, not only this race, but um, actually everywhere. Even last week, despite the 45 kilos, I think we did a fantastic job. And uh, obviously this week, um, with, a, with a bit less uh, kilos on the car and uh, cooler weather, we managed to, to, um, to put everything together. So yeah, I think... Um, we can be really proud of, uh, of this achievement and as a team as well, the, the, the mechanics and the engineers have done a fantastic job um, to, to prepare this race and, and um, to make us able to fight for the championship in the win today.